Hello, everyone, and welcome to the November 29th Contributor Celebration Planning Meeting. I'm your host today, Bob Killen, co-chair of SIC Contributor Experience. As a general uh, reminder, these calls are recorded and will be posted on the internet sometime later when the YouTube admins get around to it, uh, which is probably me. And then um, we abide by the CNCF Code of Conduct, which essentially boils down to please be excellent to each other. And with that, let's kick right into things. Uh, actually, uh, sorry, uh, do we have any new people on the call here? Okay, now we'll go back to right into kicking off things. Uh, we'll start off with Reg. Uh, so I actually have the sheet open right now and there are 89 people signed up so far, which is pretty solid. Um, since we didn't, you know, last week was Thanksgiving and we haven't sent any, any further comms. Um, how many do we have last year, just out of curiosity? Do we know? Anybody we have 300, 300 or so. Okay, cool. Well, um, and usually, like, literally with every blast of KDEV and Twitter, we got a huge spike in signups. Um, okay. With Does anyone any have any sort of, like, reg questions or anything like that? Or is are, are people pretty good there? <laughs> Okay, uh, awards. I think that this is Deb. You have something, and then Cody. I'm just kind of answering Deb as we go along. Thank um, you. <clears throat> I have a. Go ahead, Deb. Sorry. All right. Do you have a picture of the actual frame? No, I. I think we. I'm looking for a picture of the actual frame so we can try to get a frame that matches because even our order last year doesn't list the frame on it. Oh, and then okay. the actual dimension, because yeah. the pictures I saw looks like it was not a square, but the measurements they said. I, I think square. I think Hippie is grabbing one. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Um, I can find it. Yeah. <laughs> the, the other thing that we actually might be able to do is uh, I also email the supplier because from what I recall, they were pretty cool about back and forth communication. Oh yeah. We went back and forth for six months. <laughs> 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 so I just want to at least have something to show them. So they have a reference because it's a new person you talk to each time. Uh, okay. So it's like a service team that rotates. So I can definitely reach out. I just want to have a picture or something, but um. Yeah. Well, Hippie's grabbing that. Uh, it's in one of our other spaces. I'll have to uh, okay. send a picture of it. It's, it's not a, by the way, it's not a, um, a frame. It's a, it's just, it, it, I believe it is square, but it's um, wrapped. So the canvas is wrapped around it. And uh, what was on it is just on the front. It'd be like buying a, a fully wrapped frame uh, from like the store oh, or something. So like, like, just like, cool, like a canvas print. Yeah, yeah so it's that a explains print. why it doesn't have a frame on it. Yep. There is no frame. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Then we'll definitely, that's easier to match them. We can do a canvas print for these new ones. And if it is a square, it's 16 inches by 16 inches. The picture just made it not look like a square. So I wanted to triple check. Mm -hmm. I will um, get exact measurements today with a uh, one of those gadgets that measures things. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, in terms of the actual designs for this year, will the designer be adding the names and reasons for the winning to the prints before we send them, or will need, we need to involve LF Creative Services for that? I, I Last think we year can we hand put them directly on there, right? From the when we ordered them, each one individually. Yeah, so, but we have to find a different vendor to do it this year because the vendor we used last year is specific to. Uh, starscapes or whatever you want to call yeah. those things so we're finding another vendor to do it and they will not do that because we just have to send them the files to print so yeah. that's why i'm Would asking it? all these specific questions so we can match it the author, um, the author, the author did tell i had a discussion she said if you give it a list in details we could map it out and just give you the final files to print yeah if you okay supplies with that one Perfect. thing with our vendor, we, if we could talk to our vendor from last year and say we really enjoyed having that print and we're moving on to continue doing new things, maybe they would put us in contact with their vendor. It's not like we're competing with each other. Um, we're actually like, this is the first one was this, we're continuing on because uh, that would 
make it easy <laughs> if they're willing to divulge that content. Yeah, I can ask them. I think they do them in house, but I will find out. Oh, fancy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can definitely ask. Perfect. Um, and then the last thing I noted is I had shared the spreadsheet to add as you get the winners. I know maybe a bit, um, but all the information we're going to need from them. And if you'd like a form, the answer is yes. I will get that created and added in here too. Yeah, I, th I think it was a uh, pretty tedious yeah. kind of gathering all that information. <laughs> so if we could leave that up to them, that'd be great. Yeah, I'll get you a form and link it in here. Awesome, thank you. Um, are there any other updates on awards? Like have people, uh, have the chairs actually been responding and? Yeah, so we have a few already uh, submitted. I think maybe four or five SIGs <clears throat> and there are discussions going on internally with the rest and Ray, myself and Mars and others have been uh, staying on top of uh, haggling them for their nominees. So it's progressing. Cool. Thank you. I know Contribex is one of the ones that still owes you a response. <laughs> Hopefully uh, I need to, to ping the other leads again about that one too. We had, we had a couple of discussions going ourselves. <laughs> Um, last, last time we were discussing um, doing a poll for the artwork and there was suggestions for updates. So if you just have a check in the um, Slack channel, Sarah did the update for both both the suggestions. So I think we're ready to do the poll. Cool. Let's see. Sarah would be here. It's her birthday this week. So her and James are off in the some beautiful place. They sent me a picture. Nice. Let's see. Um, was it in Crafter Nettie's? Uh, yes, in Crafter okay. Nettie's. She, she posted two additional ones. The one was uh, um, changing the background of the first one into a um, Kubernetes shape. And the other one, I can't remember off the top of my head, just to find it. Let's see. I can, I can link the Slack thread or I can share my screen. Give me one moment. I'll share. I really wish a lot of these would not, you know, try and preview in the thing and just let me open them or download and open them. Fair, fair. Do, 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 do. Oh, she answered in, in, in the thread with, the thread with those two. Okay, so this is the updated uh, design, the first one of, instead of a having a circle there, it's the like, you know, that's kind of nice right there. Let me, I can open. So here is the so original version. I think it was generally a toss up between number one and number, and like a mixture of four and five. I cannot see the chat, by the way, if people are typing. Um, but what are folks' thoughts on this? Do we want to put a poll up in, in the um, Summit staff channel? <laughs> I would say do a poll because the last time, like, we, we tend to have opinions on art. Yep. Like, I, I like number one, the one that you're on right now. I like that a lot because it it's got a lot. Okay. Uh, do you do you like it in you know circle form or Kubernetes logo form? Uh haptiform would be my choice. But again, yeah. that's why we should have a poll. Uh 
Wait, I guess what are going to be? Which, which ones are going to be options on the poll? Right. All of them. I mean, I thought we ruled some out. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that. But which? Right. I think, I think that the, one was ruled out. Yeah, this one was ruled out. Did this one get ruled out? Because I think we talked seems, about merging. Seems this really one. boring. Yeah. yeah, simple. We yeah, we talked about combining the two. Yeah, and here is the combination of those over here. Which I think that looks much better than the circle, but it's a lot of sort of like blank space. Mm -hmm. But we can we can still, you know, leave it up to people. So I think for the poll, are we leaning towards like one? Two, like two, I think people were also interested in. Then five, and then one and two from here. I don't think we need the circle version of the um, non KS one. Okay. I agree. Yeah. I think we would skip that. Yeah. I think like, we'd go with only the hepta version of that. Hepta format. <laughs> Okay, so I think it was one, two from version 11, and then one and two from version 13 on the PDFs that were linked. I'm good with that. Okay. Me too. And I apologize, I cannot see people or the chat on everything. So there's no chat. Okay. Um, and who wants to take the AI to just create the poll? I'll go ahead and do it. Okay. I will stop sharing for now. And I get to see everyone again. Um, as far as awards go, do we need any further help there? Unless someone says otherwise, I think we're good. Okay. Um, and that will take us to events and the Bake Off. Or okay, um, Rin and I should be tentatively picking our list of judges today. We've talked to several people. Okay. Um, one of the questions is, I really need to sync up with somebody who knows video options better than I do, um, because, like, for example, I don't know what's realistic in terms of a number of judges, um, because mm -hmm. you know we're talking about several judges plus probably six to eight contestants. And then whoever's every, going to be every one of whom is going to have a separate yeah every one of whom is going to have a separate video stream, hmm. um, the um, <clears throat> and then that whole combined thing needs to be rebroadcast. So um, the um, and we already I'm I am not going to make a second attempt at doing this by OBS. Um, I, I think that was um, enough of uh, yeah. a, a non-starter last year, um, but. Hmm. I'm wondering what our other options are and, and what's the realistic number of streams we can support. So all the web-based studio things like StreamYard, Restream, those yeah. like 10 max. Um, okay. That's why Hippie and I were talking about Hippie setup and how that yeah. was, that was going to be done um, was my main question. Like how would we bring in people there? Yeah. The the view is very nice on uh, from Hippie's other from his phone. Yeah, yeah. So we awesome. turn around. <clears throat> I mean, one of the other things I, I also would like to do is sort of a continuation of the bake off is because um, Hippie, you said uh, y'all have a kitchen in the new space. Yeah, I mean, I can. That's the funny thing, right? So this is the this is the hack batch. Batch is a funny Kiwi yeah. word for house on the beach. Um, the the rig is here and the kitchen is there mm, so yeah. we can get more cameras and things set up but i, I have a crew right so we can get enough people to to do this in a pretty fun way yeah because one um, of the things i was wondering about is well we can talk about this a little bit later but one of the things i was wondering about is you know probably the bulk of the bake-off is going to be pretty early in the morning for you folks um yeah, and whether or not we want to sort of continue the bake-off with a non-competitive 
uh, demonstration oh. by your crew. If you follow me, so we oh, have the make off, yeah, yeah. and then your crew does something that's just single camera narrative that's a little bit more friendly to your time zone. Could be, do could be. I'm all for thinking fun. of whatever we want to do to, you know, reach the global audience. Maybe we have a lot, of, a lot of people here. With, like, yeah. I think that sounds it sounds great. Um, I did one thing that uh, it would be uh, in trying to help the community as well. Uh, I've been thinking about how to do that multi-stream. I went through and looked through at least the first thirty minutes or so of the video uh, from last year. I haven't seen mm -hmm. it all. Um, and I, I didn't get to the point where the technical glitchy things are. So if there were pain points, I'd like to well, know what the, they were. So, so we ended up on Zoom, I believe, yeah? The, um, we ended up on Zoom. You don't see the glitchy stuff because it never broadcast. Because mm. that was part of the problem. Um, gotcha. I, it basically like what, I basically like, what, what happened like was <laughs> Paul set it up and we did some test runs with like six people simultaneously. Mm -hmm. and, and that worked. Um, but once we actually cranked it up to the full, like 13 or 14 people, yeah. um, basically everything froze. Right. Mm. Yeah. Um, the, um, so, uh, well, I mean, this is a basic problem of, Hey, you're taking all these video streams and running it through somebody's mm. computer mm -hmm. at the end of a cable internet yeah. line and okay. then running it back yeah. out again. Yeah, we we have a different setup here that might help us to do that well. Mm -hmm. um, one is uh, when you're doing uh, online mixing and stuff. Like we, I think for the wide shot where you have everybody's face on there, we do use Zoom. Mm -hmm. And underneath the technology, it is Zoom. It doesn't change from the end user perspective. Everybody knows how to use Zoom. Except on our end, we'll have um, eight or more because we can get up to sixteen uh, Zoom drones. That's what they're called. Mm -hmm. And the drone is focused on a person. They're pinned. They're full screen. And there is. Mm -hmm high res as we can get and then we can switch between those and do fancy things uh in in hardware and this dedicated hardware mm -hmm. for that nice um and it will we need to practice by the way that, I, this is a brand new studio we haven't done anything so okay. maybe some, <laughs> we need, so yeah we need so to we need to try that out yeah and there's yeah. there'd be two things i would be concerned about there for you guys i mean obviously first of all it's going to mean somebody getting up way early in the morning on your end um the um or staying up really late not that you're not doing that now so what time is it there <laughs> what, what this is actually what time not is bad. It there? This is, oh yeah this is great it is um it's it's sunrise so it's going to be 6 23 okay um so this is not a problem at all okay because during the summer the united states yeah. switches direction so this yeah is oh that's true the, that's true right so two hour change to get stuff done two hour so, change yeah yeah so the, like i do you, does anyone remember the time that it was last year i think um, it was an afternoon it uh, was, it, I time. believe, uh, I believe it actually was supposed to, originally supposed to start at 10 a.m. And it ended up starting after 11 because of the video problems, but. West Coast. Um, so West Coast six, time. Six is fine. I'm, I'm up at four, five. <laughs> yeah. So, but the second, the second issue that I'm thinking about from routing this again, from sort of global routing and that sort of thing is mm -hmm. y'all are in New Zealand. So you have potentially the New Zealand pipeline issue. Woohoo! It'd be it's kind of fun because we have multiple fiber links off island, and then for me, I have multiple okay. ISP connections to those different I, uh, places. Okay. And we have our own BGP ASN, so should any of them okay. give me? Mm, okay. That, that's fine. We'll wrap. Okay, so it sounds like provider. Yeah, so it sounds like, like it's this. all it's all possible. We would just need to we would need to run a test and and recruit like 10 people out of this group Absolutely. to make it a realistic we test to play yeah. and okay. get this up and running and, and practice okay. with the so, zoom drones i, I think so i think the, the fault from this is hippie like once your zoom drones and all that are ready um we literally i'll just like toss another meeting on the calendar like invite specific people from this call Absolutely. and we'll, we'll block out like an an hour to just you know experiment i like it Um, do you have an idea of when the, the entire like Zoom drone and all that setup will be sort of good to go to start playing with? Get, uh, give me a give me a week uh, okay. because I just moved in last night and I just got the rig up last night in order <laughs> to prepare for this meeting okay. at ten o'clock. Nice. So. <laughs> okay, but it it sounds like it would be possible for us to have six judges then. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, what I'm on a, on a, on a being able to switch between humans level, I'm probably going to get another uh, eight port attempt, so we could have up to uh, sixteen in 
like streams, if you will, switching mm -hmm. in. Um, but those uh, probably use six for the judges and then give me a few, like three. So then that would be like another seven. So I don't know how many contestants we normally have, but if, if it's, and, and the thing is we can, that, that's if we're mixing them all in. in. Um, I suspect we can have up to four people on screen and I'll actually see and mix with them. Otherwise we switch to the feed that is the Zoom call, Zoom back out to everybody's faces. As okay. The, the wide shot. Well, that that would be fine. I mean, we want to switch off between people anyway. I mean, one yeah. of the things that we'd wanted to do with OBS that we were limited in our ability to do when we had to drop back to Zoom was to, mm -hmm. you know, basically focus on one contestant and just talk to them. Um, yeah. The, um, so, uh, so that'll be good. Okay. Yay. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, this should be dope. Back, uh, back to the narrative idea that might be more time zone for, well, actually the, the event is time zone friendly. If it is, it's be all, I, for yeah. me, it's, I'll be spending all day, but it'll be something I love doing, spending yeah. time with my friends and my family get to come up. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think it'd be 9 a.m. your time. At noon, a um, little earlier. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what time is it now? And I'll give you the tip because it's like I said, it's a uh, it's a six thirty now. So add to whatever for your areas. Yeah, nine a.m. That's that's I mean, honestly, that's, that's actually pretty that reasonable. Me, that gives me time to actually set up and, and, yeah. and practice a bit that morning and make sure all the all the packets are outing. Um, it's I kind of said it was it a little earlier because Rian and I, because he's in South Africa and I'm here, we often share sunrise and sunset together. So I'll point it at the, sun, <laughs> I'll point at the sunset. He's also on the beach somewhere down in South. Uh, but where are you, Rian? I'm in a tiny town called Bohemsby which is on the coast of, on the east coast of South Africa. And we just had a call before this and I was standing on the back porch showing him the, the sunset and he was standing on, on his place showing him the sunrise. So amazing. <laughs> Take that, Flat Earthers. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just in general, sign me up for the video testing team. Absolutely. I'd like to break it. <laughs> like, that's my intent. That's, a, like push that's it actually to find the limit. That's yeah. something Kubernetes is very good for. <laughs> <laughs> the community or the software? <laughs> Both? <laughs> okay. Uh, is there anything... Uh, we want to talk about regarding the the, the bake off. That, yeah, I guess say the bake off. So that should do it. And then once we've settled sort of on a list of judges and that sort of thing, we're going to put out um, an application form for contestants. And at that point, I will want to have the list of people from registration who checked that they were interested in the bake off. Um, okay, um, the, um, I can if you, if you want, you should have access to that, that sheet now. I think I do. Um, okay. Yeah, I can okay. I can send you the link as a as a. Okay. You know, shortcut. Um, okay. Any other sort of further follow-up items from uh, the Bake Off? Oh, uh, this year there's going to be a prize for the Bake Off. Oh, cool. The um, Are you making, like, making something? Uh, yeah, there's going to be a Kubernetes branded pie plate. Nice. The, wow. um, there ought to be a prize for this. The um, so, um, although it'll probably be finished after the actual contest, but that's fine. Need to ship yeah. it to whoever it is anyway, and and depending on where in the world they are, it might not change hands until KubeCon EU. But the um, because because shipping ceramics internationally is a little fraught. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and jump ahead for another content thing is 
I have not gotten a lot of interest from other artists in a crafter Nettie's activity. Um, I'm going to do one last round of the people and, and look at the people who checked it off in registration, but that's probably coming off the schedule. Okay. And, that's and it. would be an idea for next year if we are doing an online contributor celebration next year um, with maybe a bigger head start on, on getting people's attention for it. But at least three of the visual artists I know in the community actually have schedule conflicts for a large portion of the contributor celebration. So, um, uh, you know, aren't going to be participating and without kind of that core group, um, I, I don't know who else there is. What was the third uh, replay of that? Again, I my last year. So was I was thinking of doing something for uh, visual and performing artists oh. um, because we have a number of them in the community, um, mm -hmm. I, in, including obviously Sarah on, on your end of things. Um, but the um, nobody, you know, but I haven't had a lot of interest in actually participating in a thing. Um, I mean, my first idea was to basically have um, each artist do a very short presentation of some kind of their choice. So have a Crafter Nettie's channel right. and have each mm -hmm. one do a short presentation with other stuff. And so, um, you know, Sarah could do like, you know, some sort of elements of design thing. Um, I would do some kind of pottery studio thing, you know, um, et cetera. Um, but that's only interesting if we have at least five or six artists participating in it. Um, and I'm not, I'm not seeing, I'm, I'm not getting a tentative confirmation from um, more than me and one other person. So um, the, um, so I'll, I'll do a sort of last round and, and a bunch of people who are saying, and I was also going to target this on Friday because I obviously can't conflict it with the Bake Off. So um, the, um, I, I just have not been, been finding the people to do it. So. Yeah, and you know it is it is what it is, and and yeah, and and given that we are now at this point, whatever it is, two and a half weeks away, yeah, some something that we don't have a firm plan for is looking very unlikely. No. Oh, um, oops. Let me swap. I started to make a change in the docs and notice I signed the wrong Google account. I like the idea of doing that. I don't know. Not even, if I, it's a little bit short for me, but I'd hang out and do that throughout the year, every, every quarter or so. <laughs> Josh, do you, do you want to be, do you want to be our Bob Ross? <laughs> right. <laughs> no, because I can't, right. This is it. I guess I can't paint. So no. The um, <laughs> I, I, pottery works too. Pottery, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the um, yeah. Although I'm not going to say there are no mistakes in pottery. Because there's definitely <laughs> mistakes. all pottery is, is mistakes. <laughs> it's, it's definitely mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Okay. So at this point, still with Crafter Nutties, we're just doing like one last call before we're sort of punting. The yeah. Event. Before we take it off the schedule. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, uh, then any other sort of things we want to talk about with Crafter Nutties or should we move on to one of the other events? Okay, uh, DevOps party games. Um, Maddie is going to, to uh, run it for Friday night. Um, I don't know about questions for it yet, but either way, we sh what we should do is try and like have the same list of questions available for other people that want to do Jackbox games. Because um, honestly, if anyone on this call wants to potentially like take other contributors and do Jackbox games, they're a lot of fun. It was one of the faults from last year is like a lot of people wanted to actually like, you know, play instead of just watching other contributors play. <clears throat> um, oh, uh, thanks, Ray. Oh, he dropped it already. Sorry, I just saw notice the his message in there. Um, actually, if someone else could pick up taking notes, that would be great. <clears throat> um, 
but back to the DevOps party games, I will hopefully hear back regarding the questions. Either way, I still think it'd be a good idea to have the question list available for multiple people that want to host it. Um, to play, all you need is a browser. So it's it's very accessible. Um, that and and someone has to actually like own the game on Steam. But like, Jeff, do you remember how much it was? It's not much. Cheap. It's like 10 bucks, I thought. Yeah. Between 10 and 20. Uh, it. The only thing is we need to make sure that it is the Quiplash one that you can <clears throat> run your own games from. Because there's like three different Quiplashes. We need the latest one because that one has the ability to let you build your own. That is something we should actually like mention in the notes, at least someplace. Um, if people want to host their own with the Kubernetes questions, um, they need this version. Is there a way to export or import? Or do you have to go, like, I remember going through the interface when we did it for like our trip, but. Uh, there is a way to import export. So we could build it and then let people download it. Yeah, that would be awesome. Especially if we could just have the link on the, on the contributor site. Yep. Uh, can you take that follow up? Of course. Assigning the if anyone else is familiar with like Jackbox games and the import export and all and, and all that stuff, like feel free to jump in and help or take over. I just know like Je Jeff has done it before. Okay. Um Any other questions, comments regarding DevOps party games? Uh, photo booth, Deb? Was it finalized to reactivate that last week? I know um, we went back and forth on it. Yeah, I, I think yes. We just want to, the biggest things that we need to like actually talk about it more. Okay, yeah, we I'll did not, then. we did not get a lot of traction with it last year. I think we, there was like 20 pictures. But we also only mentioned it once. Exactly. So I think, yes, it's 40 bucks. I mean, if it's, oh no, if, if you know, it's, it's a loss, um, might as well do it. The other thing for the photo booth is if we can like seed some backgrounds or something like that. That's more of a general question of the community here. If anyone has some like fun things to toss in. I think I still have the backgrounds that I whipped up last year somewhere on my desktop. This, one, this might be something else to toss in the Crafter Nettie's channel to see if anyone wants to like seed some stuff. Yes, please. Uh, definitely, we definitely need this. We definitely need the CNCF landscape as a background. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make sure it's an option. Yeah. Uh, um, is there uh, the flow that we want for the show or the production stuff? Like a theme? Is that what this? Like, it's because I'm, I'm thinking like also like transitions and things around the Kubernetes wheel spinning by and going between shots or <laughs> something. I, I mean. I don't, I don't think I, we I, have to be that elaborate. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if a general theme right now, but uh, yeah. Um, if, if you got thoughts, um, because I, I a player's got to play, and I got to play, <laughs> got to get something to hold. <laughs> uh, and actually, uh, Kendall, you're tossing something in there. Do you have a uh, voice? Yeah, yeah, I was, so I was mes messaging Josh in the background, but I, I have a skill, I guess, I can show off um, for the like Crafter Nettie's thing. So that's three now, um, if we want to get one more person or not. Yeah, okay, I'll see if I can get one more person from the end of the day, I'll pull, I'll look at registration because I gave people the option to check that off. Oh, yeah, cool. One other thing, too, like, you know, especially right now, people are looking for more hobbies to 
to potentially do, uh, especially as like COVID is sadly, thanks to like Omicron and the other stuff might be extending for a bit. Um, no. So yeah, I, I know, I know, I hate saying it. Um, but yeah, if, if someone wants to like show off or teach people, you know, some other non, non Kubernetes related thing, we can still do that too. You know, I can, I can show people how to replace a garage door opener. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I can go through rewiring switches and outlets. How, how to dad with Jeff. Oh my God. That would the be funny. The dude that is never going to have a child <laughs> is going to ha have the how to dad show with Jeff. Yes. That's a great idea. Either, either way, like we, we can, there are other things we can do. We can stream that, you know, people, people will still like, um, and for, you know, for some, for a lot of these small things too, we don't, you know, hippie or setup is awesome, but you don't necessarily need that to, you know, like just oh, no, live, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Live stream teaching someone how to do yeah. stuff. I it's definitely like, don't have that kind of setup, but the camera on my phone is really, really good actually. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of good software out there nowadays to turn mm -hmm. your camera into a webcam. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, like there are there are still things if, if we want to like add more. Like last year, there was like a uh, tea time and time management where it actually had like a whack ton of people were looking to do, like get better at that sort of thing. Hmm. So if we if we want more like actual structured content, there are options. There are, I mean, there are things we can do. Well, so what's going on with um, Hackathon or whatever? It's probably. Yeah, that one. Um, I don't know. I, I personally lean towards the, the master main rename as a thing to push. Um, the one thing is like that is mostly repo admins um i'm not sure about like other hackathon ideas honestly who's There's running the hackathon and if it was the if it was the master main rename thing it'd be me but i don't know how many people would actually get for it is the one thing because it's, it's all people that are like essentially repo administrators of, of projects and they're the, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, but think about it. We could live stream it. We could show you going through GitHub and how to GitHub. And then at the top of the screen, you could have instead of, you know, the subathon count where it's like, you know, 50 out of 250, you could just have that be the Commits. number of repos that we have to try and rename. That would be cool. Um, I, I can do that for all of Contribex's repos. <laughs> And then, uh, and then, and then, hey, I'm not done. And then, you know what we do? We then show that 95% of what Contribex is, is hurting cats. And you can rename those, those repo branches in about five minutes and then spend the next 45 minutes slacking people. <laughs> Sending out email. Well, actually, you could kind of pre-stage that, right? Like, let them know, like, hey, your time is X, right? Like, you could coordinate that a little bit in advance. Uh, either way as far as like hackathon ideas and things to do during that week beyond you know me live streaming mm -hmm. the, the master main renames of contrivex owned repos um, um hippie i've got an idea that might be fun um and it's also crosses the bridge into getting more people to learn how to hold the community um we have a cookbook right and it has sure a repo do. Um, and it has recipes, right? <laughs> and so what if, what if we upgraded that repo to use, I think it's called cook language or does anybody know what the, Rion, do you remember what the, we learned about it last week. There's actually a, a markup. It's like cook ML, but it's oh, for wow. recipes. And if we, and it's got a CLI for cook cuddle yeah. and you can cook cuddle <laughs> show. Oh my mean, God. If we, if we put that in the cloud and have a hosted, I don't know, it's yeah. just a fun thing because we get the, <laughs> you, the people for the show 
based to off of XML their though. recipes. I'm sorry, yeah. I didn't choose the language. I'm just letting <laughs> you know it's there. I believe it's called it's called Cooklang. Cooklang, there we go. So we could Cooklang and have a uh, YAML. So it's a Kubernetes service that when you submit this artifact, it spits out the uh, the XML. Cooklang recipe <clears throat> markup. Okay, that is not based okay. on um, XML. Well, we we also have like. If people want to do the ML for it, I'm I'm will happily schedule honestly whatever. Um, it's it's just the, the the people that to actually like organize and run it. Yeah. So if 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 you have an idea and you want to go for it, we can toss it on the schedule. I will ask the team members that brought that forward. Caleb Woodbine was the okay. Uh, Bobby Bobby uh, McBobs. Bobby McBobs. Yep. <clears throat> the other Bob. The other Bob. <laughs> Um, and I encourage everyone to think of like more ideas and we can take it to, and, and we can have further follow up in Slack. Um, I will like, we can, we can PR a lot of the stuff in, into the, the site and schedule too, even if it's not necessarily a dedicated thing, just putting it there, we'll get more eyes on it. We'll get more people thinking about it. <laughs> um, speaking of talking and visibility comes, um, Chris, I know nothing really went out last week, but we definitely should send something out this week. Yeah, what do you want it to say? I mean, we got Reg, we got some um, needs from Josh, I think, right? For I, I especially think like once the the um, the call for um, potential volunteers for the uh, Bake Off, um, if you want to include the, the Crafter Netties call out, that can go in there too. Mm -hmm. um, we can put some stuff on the schedule, such as, you know, we'll be doing the Bake Off at noon PT if we want to use the same time as last year, um, as well as a few other things, like just, just the announcement that the schedule's live. Mm -hmm. We can put the, ha the, the DevOps party games on there, so there, there are definitely some items on there. Um, and if we can send something out like, say, you know, Thursday or Friday, that would, that would be great. Yeah. So that will also, like, again, every time we send it a reg thing, gets like at least 50 people okay I, I won't be able to put together the the sort of bake-off call because if we're going to do that then we want to have the bake-off you know sort of contested application form open um and i won't be able to do that before tomorrow oh i won't send the email until it'd be like friday. thursday friday yeah oh okay yeah fine then yeah. okay um Last thing, uh, actually, does anyone have any more comms requests or things that they think should that are urgent? Okay. Uh, last thing um, is Discord. I set this up. Um, you can. I need more people to go through the sort of login workflow. It's very similar to well, it's pretty much identical to last year. So I can, I have shoot it now. I added something else to this that should be good. One second, find Discord. Okay. So you should see the similar workflow to last year, where you know you go through, you have to agree to the code of conduct and all that other stuff. All the instructions have been updated. The the one interest, the additional thing this like big change from last year is like instead of having all the like different rooms um, for like each game now we just have three audio video like AV channels in the main sort of category so um, <clears throat> with main events being the one where we'll like restream all the stuff we're streaming to YouTube but there's also this new one called horizontal voice auto scaler where if you jump in here, it will then dynamically create a new room for you called pod whatever. Ah. So if, if people want to, I was, very, I was very pleased with myself when I, when I thought of that name and, and all that. Um, so if people, I need to disconnect from there. And then it will automatically clean itself up. Yeah. All right, that's like. Um, so. I want to create sort of a volunteer position here. Uh, let me suggest that we get, we try to find somebody to put their name on writing a short guide to the event. 
to um the well, things like for example if you want your own room jump into horizontal voice yes. auto scaler and, so, and all these other sort of instructions yep so we uh this is actually the follow-up item is i wanted to like if if someone to take an ai to uh update the fac um because a lot of this stuff and all like all the discord join workflow all that is documented there um uh, like in how to register uh, but if someone wants to open up a PR describing, you know, like, hey, if you need a room, just jump into the create voice channel room and one will automatically be created for you. Um, quick question. What do you mean when you say uh, take an AI to do something? Uh, an action, action item. item. So someone basically uh -huh. like said, volunteers to you, like say, oh, I'll, I'll take that and, and uh -huh. you know, open a PR to, to, uh, <clears throat> to do it. Actually, a um, one thing that might be in addition to like just updating the fact, um, if we have like a th this sort of falls back into comms a little bit, um, a blog post that just goes over the various like you know here are the different things here's you know just describing some of of the event and the different things. Do do people think that might be a good idea? I'm getting seeing a plus one from from a couple of people. Okay. Um, so that'd be another AI if anyone wants to take that on. Uh, otherwise, um, I can start to stub something out. Okay. Also, oh, actually, one random thing. Please do not share that Discord link uh, like widely right now. It's it's fine for us as staff to like, like you know, go in there and test. Um, also. Um, please like, you know, message me in Discord and I will add the staff role to you, which will let you give you some, uh, like some moderation capabilities. Okay. Um, let me suggest you put the documentation AI out on the Summit staff channel. Good idea. Um, simply because there are people who don't, who are interested in helping and who don't join this meeting because time zones. Yes, thank you. I will do that immediately after this meeting. Um, Okay. Does anyone have any questions regarding uh, Discord or other platforms at this point? Discord was easy to get done. Uh, um, would love. <clears throat> hmm? Would love to see your work on creating all the auto horizontal voice scaler stuff. <laughs> that is slick um, and worth worth the look see. It's it, not it's, a, a bloggy slash interview type style stuff. Oh, to see. I didn't do much of the work. I, I I did a lot of Google until I found a a, a voice out of voice channel bot that I that I thought would work well for uh for our purposes. <laughs> it's cool. <clears throat> that I thought the, the naming was great. Yeah, the naming. Well, it's the creative process. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, we have five minutes left. Uh, does anyone else have any other follow-up items or things they want to talk about at this point in time? Got a, just a quick question about Discord, which is that if on Discord, if you want to do a single video stream that people within a specific channel can see, that's built into the platform, right? Yep. Okay. So if you if you join one of the voice channels, it's like audio and video. Um, and then you can then, it'd be a little weird for me to share, share my screen twice. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, that, that, that just answered the question. It was just, you know, if, if we do this craft or Nettie's thing, I wanted to make yep. sure I could just use the built-in functionality. Yeah. The other thing is that if you stream to YouTube, we do have the capability um to basically rebroadcast rebot re stream into discord oh oh um, that's cool yeah well i should say um right now it requires a person but i am talking to discord to hopefully enable that feature on on kubernetes Woo! um because it's it's being progressively rolled out um uh, but yeah basically i can dedicate a time in in 
like basically YouTube URL. And anyone that joins that voice channel will automatically basically be joined into that YouTube stream. Nice. <clears throat> Is there a FAC or a, a getting onboarding for the Kate streaming crew? I did a PR thing, but I don't know where to hold. <laughs> Where um, I can help. I don't think there is for the, the Kate streaming, like besides our YouTube guy, there isn't anything else. Um, okay. Honestly, part of it was because we weren't sure we were going to be holding another, uh, you know, contributor celebration again. If, you know, Fair. COVID had, had <laughs> gone away, then this probably would have just been rolled into the, the, the North America, you know, event. Absolutely. <clears throat> but it is what it is. Uh, I, and I last year, last year I was, was also like, I'm oh, sorry. Um, not just for this event, but I, um, I know there's lots of times when I hear you say someone from the uh, Kate's, so we're going to upload this to YouTube and I'll probably end up doing it. Um, and I want to be able to help with those type of things. Okay. Um, and so that's what I meant by as far as like helping ah, out okay. as a member of the community who has, I don't know where to hold it or where to okay, come okay. and hold that, that before that, the community beyond that, this event. Yes, that uh, there is an issue uh, form in Kubernetes community to become a YouTube YouTube moderator or a moderator over any of the properties. Okay, and that's separate <clears throat> from the PR that merged for yes. The, the, okay, cool. I will look for that. Okay. Um, so with that, uh, we have three minutes left. Are there any other questions, comments at this point in time? Um. A couple of minutes ago, Josh asked about, uh, asked for someone to take up the responsibility for the hackathon, right? Uh, I kind of missed whether that was resolved or not, but I do have a decent bit of experience with that. So if, if you need help, I'd be happy to uh, throw myself in there. Yeah, I think the, the big thing for the hackathon outside of the master main rename was looking for potential like ideas of, of you know, things to do uh, with it. Um, <clears throat> as if we don't have like a sort of theme or a thing around it, uh, I don't know how much uh, attention it will actually get. Yeah, well, and we also need somebody to be in charge of that thing. Yeah. Okay. So you are um, welcome to take that on. I'd be happy to, but uh, from what you're saying, it seems like ideation comes first. So, yeah, is that something we're bullish about? Uh, are we sure that we're, we're going to be doing something like this, or is it just maybe on the back burner right now? Um, I would consider it on the back burner right now, mostly if someone has the bandwidth. Like, if if you want to take on, you know, uh, regarding finding more ideas and being the person to run it, like, then you know, we will we will put it on the schedule and we will dedicate like a space to it in Discord and all that for it. Yeah, I would. I would love to. Okay. Um, do you want to, you know, sort of firm that up this week, and then we can, you know, basically do a go no go on the idea next Monday? Yeah, sounds good. Cool. Uh, Who we can, I, we can... uh, who's going to be my PLC outside of meetings? Huh? Who's going to be my point of contact contact outside meetings? Uh, summit this? staff. Okay. Yeah, the summit staff channel. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, we are now just about at time. Um, at this point, I would suggest taking any sort of follow-up uh, questions, comments to Slack. Are folks cool with that? Sweet. Okay. See y'all on the internet. Bye, y'all. Bye.